Well, we've made it. Thank God. It's Friday. You make me feel so good sleep in several nights and uh, has definitely been randomly drinking straight hard liquor. I don't look so bad. Just saying. It's of course the fastest growing category in the spirits. It's a pretty cool place to be right now for us. This is where it all goes down. This is where liquor comes from. I'm at the distributor's office. We're making a presentation for this brand new whiskey that we're doing. All right, now that I'm done with my first shift of the day, I'm gonna go pick up my mom and take her to a meeting for her insurance company. Um, I need to advocate in her, for her in this meeting, so I'm just gonna take a second before I go over there to, to focus so I don't forget anything that I need to bring up, you know? Get one shot at this. No pressure. This is really difficult. That meeting was not at all what it was supposed to be. They want to give my mom as little care as possible, just like I feared, and my patience is really being tried right now, so I have to get some back because I'm getting super frustrated here. It's like I'm forced into being a parent and I never fucking signed up for that. <sighs> if I had gone on that trip to Europe, I would be in Europe right now and I would be putting all of this responsibility on my brother just by default and I'd probably be really stressed out and nervous about it or really drunk so that I don't have to feel all of my feelings about it. Isn't that crazy? While it's nice that I can help my mom because I'm in town and I have some time and I can figure shit out, um, I shouldn't be putting my life on hold to help her. I just don't really happen to have much of a life right now. So it works out, but it's important to have a balance and it's important to have the right priorities. The health insurance company's priorities are all out of whack, rather than them being focused on, and not just the health insurance, but the health care. In my mother's case, she has health insurance that has like a designated hospital and it has its own, it's Kaiser, and they have their own doctors, their own hospitals, their own um, insurance. It's all in-house and uh, their priorities are messed up. So rather than making sure the patient gets the proper care, um, it's more like what they can accommodate and like trying their best, but like not meeting the patient's needs and definitely uh, saving money over that. So that sucks uh, a lot. I would not recommend their insurance for most people. I'm sure there are some people who this system works very well for but uh when a doctor expressly says that some a patient cannot be unsupervised and then the care plan that they come up with leaves them unsupervised it makes no sense unless you're coming from a financial standpoint and that is their priority I really need to make getting new work pants a priority. These white jeans do not fit me, so they make me feel like really fat because I squeeze out of them. And the back pocket detail is disgusting. They're so ugly. This music is my favorite kind of music. It got really busy here. All right, we're at our second shift. This place is called... Tobang. Tobang, baby. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I'm finally done running around today. Fuck. It's been a long one. 
I was at that first job at 9 a.m. and it's 10.30 now. All right, we're home. And I just ordered some delivery. Cause ain't nobody waiting for nothing to cook for an hour. And Uber Eats was having a promotion that I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Me and deals. Like this. I'm that one. I'm the, the wiggly one. The deal's like, yo, what's up? I'm chilling. I'm a deal. And I'm like, <sighs> I mean, this looks pretty legit. Some eel up in that. Yellowtail. You make me feel so good. 